Hey guys, my name is Wilson. Today we're going to be talking about how do you set up a successful FMB shop, a restaurant that's going to provide for you and your family. And how we're going to be able to do that is hire all star team. And what I mean by that is people who can actually run your business while you're away taking care of your family, traveling with your spouse and enjoying quality time with them. All that can be done if you have an amazing team who can take care and really care for your business. And a lot of times this is the number one thing that people struggle with, which is to hire all-star team players. And today we're gonna dive right into that. Make sure you guys stay till the end because I'm gonna be sharing a lot more resources with you so then that way you can download them for your exact business. Now that we know we need to hire an all-star team, we need to understand how many people we need to hire and for what function do they serve. Mainly they are in three different categories. First of them is front of the house. We're talking about servers, we're talking about hostess, we're talking about bus boys, so on and so forth, right? Determine and identify the number of staff you need for each position within your front of the house. Second is your back of the house. We're talking about dishwashers, we're talking about cooks, shoes chef, we're talking about preps, all these different people that support the delivery of your serving. And finally, we're talking about support staff. We're talking about baristas, we're talking about your managers, and these are your support staff. A lot of times, depending on the size of your location and your offering, these number of people would vary as well, which is the reason why some of the times they have overlapping duties. Just because they are a supporting staff doesn't mean that they do not serve people. A lot of times, for example, 720 Suites, we only have two staff at any given time. They act as a server and they act as a cashier and they act as a barista at the same time. And because of the fact that we're able to identify the type of talent we need and the number of people that we have, we're able to efficiently plan for them and efficiently utilize them to a point where our um, labor costs is substantially lower than comparative staff, uh, comparative shops. So that's the reason why it's super important for you to be able to identify the number of staff you need for each of the categories. Now that we have figured that out, we're gonna determine what constitutes and the characteristics of all-star team players who can take care of your business, who has common sense. So now that you have determined the number of staff you need to efficiently run your food and beverage shop, we're gonna determine what is an all-star talent. All-star talent is not skill set, does not equate to someone's skill set. All-star talent really comes back down to how their values are aligned with your values. So what that means is that you, if you haven't determined your own values, something that you believe in, something that sets as a parameter of how you function as a human being and how you function as your, your business, then no one else can have that clarity and you can't match your shop with talent. So it's super, super important for you to define your values because it gives you so much clarity. It gives your customers clarity. It gives your staff clarity in terms of how you operate. And if that is aligned, then it's a match. And when it's a match, that's when you can have people who truly care and truly are able to bring value to you when that matches. It's just like matching with a significant other. If the values match, you guys can, are compatible and you guys can talk a lot more. Same thing with finding staff. It's like finding another significant other. So it's super important to first define your own values and how you operate your business. Define your mission. What are you trying to achieve? And then find people who have alignment in those values as well. And once you're able to do that, that itself is the foundation of an all-star player. We're gonna be talking about the top five characteristics now that you have that alignment of values that you should be looking for in your all-star player. First of all is collaborative. This person that you're hiring must be collaborative because in an environment that you're serving others, an environment that has a team, you need them to be able to work well with other people. And if they're a lone wolf, it's very, very difficult for them to actually match and, and be able to support your other teammates. In a fast-paced industry like food and beverage, being collaborative 
and actually wanting to support others is crucial to the success of your business, which is the reason why this is the number one characteristics that I always look out for when we are looking for an all-star talent. The second characteristic that you need to look out for in your all-star player is integrity. So what does integrity mean? Integrity means to be able to walk the talk. What that means is that if you say that you're gonna be on time, you better be on time. If you say that you're gonna own up to a mistake, then you better own up to a mistake. If you say you're gonna, you're gonna send me an email, then you better send me that email. And that itself is integrity. A lot of times, when we are running a food and beverage business, we don't have time to babysit each other. We don't have time to babysit our staff. So we need to make sure that they are able to be able to be accountable for what they say, because if they're not, and if they're skimping out on, let's say, for example, a, a process or a ingredient, or let's say, for example, someone's asking, hey, you know what, can I have a cup of water? And this guy's like, yeah, sure. And he totally forgets about it. Or they think that, hey, you know what, it's okay. My other, my other staff or my other team can take care of that and just be slimy in that sense, then that itself is not integrity. When you wanna be able to have a business that you can walk away from, a business and finding a staff that can take care of your business, integrity is super important because that's exactly how you can earn, gain the trust for your team to be able to take care of your business while you're able to walk away from that because you trust that they will do the right thing because they have high integrity. And this is the number one reason why every staff that we hire has this core characteristics, which is high in integrity. So many times, actually, I'm never at my ice cream shop, and usually we're running with one or two people, and if they don't have high integrity, they do not have a high sense of mor morals that doing the right thing all the time when no one is there, then it's very difficult for me to be able to manage multiple different locations, let alone go travel, okay? So a lot of times I know they're doing the right thing because I'm getting feedback from secret shoppers, we have cameras in place, and we also have a lot of strong communication with them, which is the reason why there's so many times that they are proving themselves that they have high integrity. Just because they have high integrity doesn't mean that you don't have to do your job, which is to all constantly check up on them which is to constantly make sure that everything is in place. That's your job. And that's the reason why it's super important to hire someone with high integrity. The third type of characteristics that you should look out for in an all-star player is communicative. And what I mean by communicative is that they are always and constantly in communication, whether with you, with the suppliers, or with the customers because that really sets the expectation of what is to come. Whether they're gonna be on time or whether they're gonna be late, at least they communicate with you to let you know that they're gonna be running five minutes late because their bus is late or gone to an accident. That itself allows you to prepare because they communicated with you. Versus someone who does not communicate, versus someone that thinks that being late for five minutes is okay. And whereas you, on the other hand, is waiting on them for that five minutes because you don't know what's going on, because you have plans for them, because you're expecting them to show up, yet there's no communication, which in turn makes you upset, which in turn makes you frustrated, and that itself is why communication is super, super, super important. Another reason why communication is so important in the food and beverage industry is because a lot of times when customers come in, they're expecting a certain experience. And if there's anything that does not go along with that experience, they need to be notified. For example, if their meal, typical wait time for a meal is let's say 15 minutes, okay? And if your server fails to let them know that, hey, you know what, this item that you're ordering is a baked item, which takes around 45 minutes, then your customers would be upset at the restaurant, not necessarily the, the waiter, because they think that why is service so slow? Why is it taking 45 minutes? My friends already finished their food. Why am I still not having my food? And that itself is because of lack of communication. Lack of communication does not allow the expectation to be set and to be met. So when you're looking for onboarding an all-star team, an all-star player, always, always look for this key trait which is communicative, okay? And that's the reason why I'm always in communication with my team all the time. 
doesn't matter where they are, doesn't matter what's going on. I'm always asking them what's going on. They're always updating me whether they're late, whether they're staying behind for another half an hour, or whether there are any incidents that are happening. So then that way, I myself have the expectation of what to set. The fourth trait to look for in an all-star player is positive can-do attitude. At the end of the day, would you want to work with someone who is always a Debbie Downer, who's always telling you that they can't do this, or there's a problem with this, or that, you know what, it's difficult asking for instructions all the time? Or would you prefer to work with someone who is always having an uplifting spirit, always willing to take on a challenge, always having a positive can-do attitude that even if they don't know how to solve the problem, they have the attitude of, hey, you know what, I'll take on this challenge. I'll be positive and I'll figure out a solution for solving this problem. Always, always choose for people who have the positive can-do attitude because not only are they able to provide much more for you in terms of value, but then they're also able to solve problems in a much more creative way and they're always going to be able to influence other people on your team. When you're working in a team environment, everyone's energy would be able to transfer around each other and if you have everyone in sync with a positive can-do attitude, it's like riding a dragon boat, okay? It's like when you're riding in, in a dragon boat, when everyone is in sync, that's when you're able to, gonna be able to win the race. But whereas, if this guy is a Debbie Downer and this guy has a positive can-do attitude, then they're out of sync. And when that's out of sync, your, your dragon boat cannot propel and cannot win. Not only does it bleed into the customer service, when people come into our stores, we're always, if you look at our reviews, people are always praising how our staff is so good with their customer service. And a lot of times with customer service really comes with the attitude and what they believe in. The fifth and final characteristic to look for in your all-star team, and this is by far the most important, is authenticity. And what I mean by authenticity is really being who they are. People who are faking, for example, their values, faking all these behavioral stuff just to get the job, does not go far because when it comes down to it, when you're not there, when you're not looking, their true self comes out. Their true Debbie Downer attitude comes back out. And that itself is not good for your business. It's not good as a talent you wanna hire because they're not authentic to what they truly believe in. A lot of times when you're interviewing, make sure you ask enough questions to be able to see whether they're authentic and whether all the answers that they give you are in alignment. And when they're in alignment with different behaviors, then you can be able to see, is this guy being authentic or are they giving you answers just to make sure that you hire them and giving you the right answers. Also, if they're not authentic, then they're not gonna last, okay? If they're answering your questions and if they're providing you with an impression of them being able to fit into your community and your culture, but yet it's not really who they are. This one bad apple will definitely poison the rest of your staff if they're not authentic. So make sure you hire someone who's truly authentic to what they say. And a lot of times what you can be able to see that through not only their resume, but also their different, in, uh, different social media profile to see how they truly act, right? Do your research when it comes to hiring and do your research in terms of understanding how this person is. Bring them out for a cup of coffee and chat with them about their personal life. And that itself would allow you to see much more about what this person is like, aside from being in a, a interview session. A lot of times when we at 720 Hire, I would actually go out with coffee for them, with them to make sure that I understand who they truly are. So then that way I can loosen them up and their true self would start showing. And when you see them interacting with, let's say uh, the, the barista or the cashier, you're gonna be able to see whether they have integrity or not, if you, whether they are a positive person or not. This itself is super important when it comes to looking out for an all-star team. So now that we figured out what makes an all-star player that you want on your team, an all-star player that's gonna be able to take care of your business while you're away and while you are traveling and taking care of your loved ones, we are gonna be talking about the top four ways of how do you hire and look for these all-star players. The number one way 
to hire an all-star player is by referral. A lot of times I put super heavy weight on referrals because you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And a lot of times, if someone is already an A player that I truly value, if someone is an A player that I think can take care of my business, their friends that they hang out with would majority of the time be and have the same values or similar values because if they are good friends, then that means that they, they match and they're compatible. And if people don't have the same values, a lot of times they don't hang out with each other, which is the reason why referrals are so important whenever we're looking into hiring. With all our staff, whether it be our 720 Sweets Dessert or my entertainment business, we employ over 100 people per year. And a lot of these times, around 70% of the staff that we hire are through referral of our staff because they have the same values, they believe in the same things. And I find this being the number one way in recruiting all-star talent. The second way to be able to look for all-star talent is through your own website or your own social media. People who buy into what you have to serve, people who buy into your way of doing business, people who buy into your vision and your values are oftentimes following your FMB. And when they're following your FMB, a lot of times if you are posting out a, a job description or a job recruitment letter or looking for talent, you're gonna be able to attract these like-minded people who are already a fan of yours and that itself is super, super helpful when we're talking about recruiting all-star players with the same values as yours. For example, with 720 Suites, every time we hire, we don't post on job sites yet. We always post on our Instagram. We always post on our website because people who follow us for years and years and years, they have friends and they buy into us and they themselves might be suitable for a job opening that we have or they have friends who may um, be interested and they would refer us to them as well. The third method to be able to hire an all-star team is through job sites and newspapers. This is something that I truly do not really buy into. However, if you're starting out, if you don't have people following you and if you don't have that team yet, this is a really good place to start. Um, and a lot of times you just need to do a lot more vetting when you're posting on different job sites like um, Indeed, uh, like Craigslist or whatsoever. You ne definitely need to be able to weed through um, the, the whole process because it's just everyone that applies, you don't have a pre-qualifier of whether they fit in your values or not. And that's the number one thing. I find that out of 10 people, probably two of the people would, and candidates would be suitable for our job based upon their values and what they believe in, not necessarily their skill set. And out of the two people, we then need to make sure that they have all the five characteristics of an all-star player before we can shortlist them and before we decide who to hire. So the third method, it would take a little bit longer and it would take a lot more in terms of interviewing process wise but nonetheless you've got to start somewhere and this is somewhere you're going to be able to start when you're just starting off the fourth and final way to be able to find your all-star team an all-star player is headhunters consultants okay this is by far the least of my priority because when we're hiring for an all-star team that to take care of our food and beverage business we are looking at a small establishment, small to medium size. We don't have that resource to be able to invest heavily in a headhunter because they come with a pretty hefty fee. And because of the fact that we're not a multi-billion dollar chain like Cheesecake Factories, we don't need top talent. We're, we're paying $120,000 a year to take care of this whole restaurant chain of us. We're looking for managers, we're looking for supervisors and, and in front of the house staff that can take care of stuff for us. And that's the reason why I don't recommend you, if you're starting off, to hire consultants or headhunters to look for placements for you because first of all, they come with a hefty fee and many times they do not entertain entry-level positions. 
that's why I do not recommend this method. But nonetheless, if you have the resources, you have the budget, and you're looking for someone a little bit more experienced, then consultants and headhunters is also a way for you to be able to look for an all-star player. So there you are, the top five characteristics that makes someone an all-star player. And then the top four ways to locate and find and to onboard your all-star players. First of all, which is through referral. Second of all, we're talking about your website, your social media. Third, websites and job sites and newspapers. And fourthly, consultants and headhunters. That's how you're gonna be able to find your all-star team. A lot of times what really makes someone an all-star is when their values matches with yours because that's when they can truly care for your business, which allows you the freedom to be able to not work in your business, but work on your business because someone truly cares for your business, someone is capable and someone with common sense. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video because at the end of the day, I'm just putting in everything that I've learned in my last 10 years of business to create this video for you. And if you wanna learn a little bit more about how do you create a business, a food and beverage establishment from A to Z, then check it out in the link below because I've basically put in everything that I've learned in the link below okay we're talking about how do you look for talent how do you hire them how do you retain them how do you find your customers how do you find a location how do you negotiate for free rent how do you market everything okay so make sure you guys check it out in the link below in the next video i'm going to be talking about how do you retain your all-star team the six secrets that i've personally used so make sure you guys stay tuned make sure you guys subscribe so then that way you guys get the latest video that i'm going to be shooting if you guys find this video helpful for your needs make sure you smash the like buttons otherwise i'll see you guys in the next video